Well, I'll just take you guys on a little walk and talk here. Tell you what I'm up to. Rosie has pooped the bed. I don't even know if you saw her when I did that. She's behind me. Anyway, Rosie's pooped the bed. Got dead batteries. Now, for years, well, several years ago, my master switch went out on Rosie. And so back then, I just took it off. And so every time I shut the machine off, I have to disconnect the battery, the negative battery cable. And every time I want to start it, I have to hook it back up. little inconvenient but whatever no big deal well a couple of weeks ago we're coming up on Wilbur now Wilbur also has some bad batteries um, so a couple of weeks ago I left the batteries hooked up on accident for over a week and I opened the door to go hook them up and start the machine I thought oh crap they're probably gonna be dead just an assumption I have no reason to believe that Rosie has a short I just you know That'd be my luck, but they weren't. Started right up, okay. No reason to get complacent, but I did. And so, a couple days ago, I shut Rosie off and I left the batteries hooked up again. Didn't even think about it until I went to start her yesterday. Yesterday, stone dead, not even a click. So my first thought was, well, probably a a bad ground somewhere you know something's broken in the circuit because normally you'd at least get a click but nothing but I checked both the batteries checked the voltage on them and they were dead both of them read like nothing like four volts which is crazy so put the charger on one jumper cables on the other got Rosie started thought well maybe it's starting to rain on me I thought well maybe you know, I left them hooked up for a couple days and there is a short and it drained them completely down. So I got the machine started, ran it for easily two hours at high rev the whole time. Shut it off, disconnected the cable immediately. Come out this morning, hook the cable up, stone dead. No click, nothing. So I got my tester out, my voltage tester, and I checked real quick before I did anything else. I checked each battery. One's reading 12.6, the other's reading 10.8. So obviously the one that's reading 10.8 volts has got at least one dead cell. Normally a good battery, I think, it's a six cell battery, I think it's like, I think it's like 2.6 volts per cell. So actually a good 12 volt battery should read like 13.2 to 13.4, somewhere in there. So one's reading a little low, one's reading really low. And the one that's 10.8 or whatever it was, that's five year old battery. So you know, easy enough to believe that it went bad. I'm gonna check Wilbur here real quick and just see if I get lucky. I've got a 10.6 and a 12.6. So Wilbur may have one decent battery that's just being drugged down by the other one. I'm gonna rob it off of here since Wilbur broke down anyway with this wheel bearing issue. I'm gonna rob this battery that I think is decent. Now it may be weak, I may have to still jump the machine off, but I think what I've got going on is one bad battery is causing a drag on the system. So even though I have one good battery, it won't let it start the machine. So we're gonna pull this, this one here, I don't know if you guys can see. We're gonna pull this one here off, the inside battery, and go throw it into Rosie and see if we can get, can't get, you know, get Rosie going at least. I've still got some dirt I want to bail around. See if I can get Rosie going and have two good batteries on Rosie and no good batteries on Wilbur, which would be nothing new. I'm pretty much in the habit of, you know, I use Wilbur so little that I really can't justify spending three or $400 on two new batteries for him. So every time I want to start Wilbur, I just jump him off of Rosie. Hook it up to the jumper cables, fires right up in a couple of minutes. So I don't really care if Wilbur has good batteries, but I really rely pretty heavy on Rosie so 
I need to get some good batteries in Rosie and see if we can't get it working. The rain is trying to set in. It's for sure, I mean, it's kind of spitting on me right now, but it's absolutely for sure supposed to rain tomorrow. So I want to try to finish what dirt work I can today. I mean, if it gets rained on, oh well, I'll just have to wait for it to dry out again. But anyway, let's see if we can throw this other battery on Rosie. At least get her started up. I don't think my alternator's bad. I don't think I have a dead short. I think I just got one battery that's dragging everything down. So we're going to throw this other one on there, hopefully get her going. But I'll let you know. <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> so even though both batteries in there are weak, they aren't, they're both good. Um, so they don't have a bad cell dragging them down. So even with the weak batteries, you know, weak battery, your system should still at least try to start. You know, you get a slow crank, which Rosie popped right off. Uh, weak system, you might get a slow crank. When you get absolutely nothing, when you get just a click, that's usually the solenoid trying to engage, but you don't have enough amperage from the batteries uh, to actually, you know, turn it over. Uh, in my case, didn't even get a click, which basically means you've got no current flow, period, because of that bad cell, nothing's flowing through the system like it should. So, Rosie started up. Yippee. Uh, I'll buy a new battery eventually, whenever I decide I really need it. But, yeah, put my tools away, get some hydraulic oil, and get to work. <laughs> 